I'm gonna start by applying a, a light shadow all over my lid. Uh, this is a very old Sephora. I don't think they make this kind of uh, shadows anymore. Uh, brown, brown tone is good. So I'm gonna start by applying a light one. It could be white, it could be beige. Doesn't really matter as long as it's, it's a little lighter than than your skin color, just to give some light and uh, to unify the color on your lid. Then the idea is to use two different brows. I have here, uh, uh, well, it's artificial light, but this is a lighter brown. This is a darker brown, both in a uh, little shiny, and then I have a matte one uh, that I'm not sure I'll be using. But the idea is to have two different kinds of brown, one darker and one a little lighter. Uh, because this is the Spanish look, what we're trying to look for is depth. Uh, even a little bit of a smoky eye, which um, I don't think it's very good on me for stage, so I'm not going to do that. But compared to other worlds that I've, that I've done on my channel before, this is going to be a little deeper. So, first thing I'm going to do is to apply the darker one. I use this uh, diagonal brush. We use this one to apply on our crease. So, we are going to follow the natural shape of our crease. Like that. And then continue on the shape of the eyebrow. Blend, 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 blend. Then, uh, with the same brush that I applied the, the light shadow, I'm gonna go on the lighter brown. That one. And put it right here. This is gonna add the, the depth that we want. Normally, I would keep this. Uh, the, this uh, part of the lid uh, light or I would apply a pop of color. Now we're just trying to use this uh, medium brown, this light brown, to blend into the dark one. And then I'm gonna take a, a liner brush and I'm gonna apply the matte brown just because it's a little darker to redefine a little bit of crease. So we have a slightly three tones. We have a lighter base which also blends with the white that we put under the eyebrow. Then we have a light brown on our eye and darker brown on our crease for depth. Then we'll go in with eyeliner which uh, starts with a normal top line. Always quite thick because we need room for our fake eyelashes and also because our bottom line is going to go deep in our eyes we kind of want it to be thick up until here. So it should be the same growth of line all over your eye. We wing it a little bit. This should be enough by now. Uh, then once we finish our bottom line, we'll go up, add whatever needs to be added. We go with a normal eyeliner, we're gonna go to the bottom line. We want our bottom line as close as we can to our lash line. Uh, we could even go in only, or even both. Both, I think, it, it, that's a little, it, it gets too thick if we do both outside and inside. I'm gonna go outside right now because it's very hard to remove makeup once you put it in, in the inside line. But you could definitely do both if it's very very close to your lash line on the outside or you could do just in if that's, that looks good for your eyes. So I'm gonna go from here where my lashes start, very very close to my lash line and very very thin. I don't really like for the shape of my eyes to have a very thick bottom line. Wrap it right up until there. Okay, and I'm gonna try to wing it and not mess it up. 
So, as you can see, I have a little white line in there naturally. It's, it's the shape of my eyelash line. So what I'm gonna do is go under it. Oh, I was holding my breath. Okay, because we opened it down a little bit, I like to also take it out from, upside, uh, from the upper line. So it should go there. Just so it compensates. Not more than that, if not we go to a sunny look. Uh, then we're gonna try to wing it on the outside a little bit as well. Then we go and do contour. Kitri, she's from Barcelona, like me. And like most uh, Spanish people, they are 10. I'm not, but most Spanish people are. So we are gonna contour a lot uh, of our face. We're gonna do forehead, we're gonna do here, we're, um, just to try to give that extra color, at least in our faces. Uh, first, I am gonna go with, um, with the lighter highlighter, just to settle a little bit my concealer. And this part of the face anyway, sh it should always be uh, highlighted. And then I'm gonna go medium cocoa. And we do our cheekbones. We go on our forehead, starting on our side part, uh, where the point is higher. We also do our neckline, which is a very good trick uh, if you don't get really tan on your face um, and somewhere in your body is a little darker, if you do this zone as well as your face, but if you do this zone it already adds, uh, it compensates with the tan of your body. I like to take my jaw a little bit as well. We're going to do our nose line. Here's our faces properly contoured. We have the round shape there, three, this way as well. So now we go on to lips and lashes and curls, which is also a very special uh, key tree feature. I'm using my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 01, shade 01, which is the, the most red one they have. Blood red. We have our fire lips on. Uh, we're gonna we go with eyelashes. Okay, uh, I'll have to fix a little blue disaster that happened here, which means a uh, liner brush plus the dark matte brown that we used for our crease. Just discreetly there, we just add a little bit of depth on top of this disaster. We can go here on the outside a little bit on our waterline. Just a little bit on the outer corner for the smoky idea a little bit. Before we do our hair, our curl with our hair, I'm gonna draw the first one. Uh, if you do a big one on the on the right side, you should do a small one up on the left side, or the other way. If you do the big one on the left, then it should be a small one on the right. I like balance uh, in in both uh, sides of the face. You'll see also when I wear my flowers. If you, I don't like to wear just one flower on one side. I normally try to even it. And if you put a big one on the side, you put a small one on the other side, and vice versa. Uh, so first thing uh, with the pencil, because unfortunately I don't have the, the curls for this, uh, we go this way, as simple as that. And then we make it look like it's actually growing from our hair, which means 
it needs to be a little bigger here. Uh, you have to be very careful if you, you sweat a lot. For this, uh, you, you want to use waterproof uh, material, definitely. So it goes something like this. And then we'll work on the other one in a second. I already left some, some of my hair out. It might be too long though. So uh, the structure is basically, I'm actually thinking only being like this. This was my, my morning bun. Um, side part, whichever side is what works better for you, is it's more of a Spanish look. Uh, low one definitely, it could be lower than this, it could go somewhere here, because this is how uh, flamenco dancers uh, do their hairs. So I put the net, I put the net around my bun, took off my pins, still holding. I'm gonna spray and comb. We put a couple of pins crushed which means one like this and then one on top I don't know if it's, you can see this one to fix it in place also on this side because this is where our bun will be fixed and our bun will be placed where, where, we bun, where we want our bun to end we add one and now we pull our bun flat, flat, as flat as possible, and we pin it, trying to catch those uh, side pins we put there. We try to catch them, this way our, our, our bun is going to be big and flat and it won't move, it won't fall off. Same on this side. Ow. Oh, ouch, maybe not in this side. Ow. My net is broken two seconds, I might have to add one. You see that I caught the pin there? And there. And also up. So it doesn't move. Okay, now we do we're gonna do this. We're gonna wrap it like that. Curl it, curl it, curl it. We're gonna add some hairspray. And spread the hairspray that I all over. And we spray. And fix. It kind of makes a blue effect, the hairspray, if you put enough. This might take a while though, so let's fast forward. So I got the flowers. Oh, I have three. I have a big one and two small ones. I'm gonna go on the left. I always do left side to the bigger, the big flower. I'm gonna put it down there. For flowers, you should pin the the lowest petal and then the ones flat on top. Then I take a smaller one and we put it on top. And we compensate on the other side with one because you see this just looks very flat right now. This is very puffy, this is very flat and you want to balance it out which means there. So this is my key tree book.